this is why the nvidia cards do better in warzone than the amd cards okay why are you guys arguing about a 6900 why are you arguing it's, it's hardware chill out it's hardware bro okay there's there's a there's a huge problem if you already bought something and you're telling other people that you made the right purchase that's a red flag bro what what's the what's the goal do you know what i mean deep down do you think that you made the wrong purchase but you were just stuck and that was the purchase you had to make and then now you're trying to convince others of it do you know what i mean like there's no value in what you're talking about dude we'll just get whatever you bought and just be happy with it don't worry about what other people say dude don't worry about it yeah but the reason why i tell people what the goal is so much is because nobody asks themselves that question man nobody fucking asks it like what the fuck is that guy's what's, what's your even goal with that you know what i mean yeah but what opinion are you after like like do you like how does the 6900 xt perform in warzone you already bought it just wait till you get it and find out like what like what, what opinion are you after here or like maybe clarify the question a bit because i don't understand like the questions you're asking don't make any sense right it is a very good question to ask dude because you know like 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 I, I i feel like people don't even know their own thoughts a lot of the time right like like nobody like like people do things without understanding why their body is even doing it and when you ask somebody what the goal of their intention is it brings it back it's like why am i doing this it's an instant fucking like self-awareness like bring back you know that's why it's so that's why it's so important to ask people that right i wanted the 3090 it's true well yeah dude i've fucking called that shit from a mile away they're like like so what really happened was you wanted a 3090 you couldn't afford it so you bought a 6900 xt and now you're scouring the internet trying to reaffirm your purchase that is the real goal and intention of all your questions right that's what it is and the mo like and, 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 and we're not no one's making fun of you dude literally everybody fucking does that the entire fucking internet does that dude that's the entire hardware space hey jufus i already bought a fucking dell dude people pay me 500 dollars to fix their problem like their mistakes like i i bought a dell uh can you make this faster uh no dude can you return the dell no I think I'm gonna stick with my Dell and uh, look for reviews about how they say that it's awesome. Like, what the fuck? It's super weird, but everybody does it. Everybody fucking does it, dude. The only thing that I can suggest for you is the next time. Like, don't worry about it now. You already bought it. It is what it is. Enjoy it. It's still a. Fu it's a fucking. 6900 xt for god's sakes it's a fast ass card right i play on one daily because i mine with my 3090 right i play my 6900 xt has become my main gaming gpu because it games that well but doesn't mine very well right it's a perfect gaming card but in the future like when the 4090 or the 5090 when you're when you're ready to upgrade again just don't repeat the same behavior 
do all your research before you buy something and if you can't afford it just 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 don't, you can't afford it you just don't buy it you just stick with what you got or you buy the second best option and you just accept that it's the second best option it doesn't have to be the best option it doesn't have to be dude you know what i mean this is why the nvidia cards do better in warzone than the amd cards okay nvidia cards split the workload in the driver amongst the cores what the hell is it even called it just tells you right here in the fucking driver uh threaded optimization so if you go back and watch moore's law it was like one of the older podcasts he did he talked with a with a game dev a game developers don't code games this way i mean warzone did but most games don't code it the nvidia driver itself takes the code and splits it up into the cores to feed the gpu okay the, and it gets the cpu to do that it saves die space on the gpu not having a scheduler it saves heat on the gpu right amd cards schedule the workload internal to the graphics card so the cpu cores don't do it right how can you test this you go into your config file if you have an amd card go into your config file here right just change this number around the fps is the same to a certain if you put like one it'll be fucking lower obviously but if you have like a 5950x try like six seven eight nine they're all the same fucking fps because it's scheduling those tasks in the graphics card so no matter what you do here the fps is always going to be the same nvidia cards the higher you can get this number without it lagging or hitching will get you more fps and it keeps going it keeps scaling so if we had a 12 core skylake it would keep going it would keep scaling the nvidia driver just and it's that's this game though and any future game with this feature right so if you're playing if you're playing fucking cyberpunk or a single player game you're playing tomb raider or something and the game is only designed for for like four threads or something like four games maybe even like six you know what i mean i think hardware unbox tested this and i think the amd scheduler is equivalent like in between six to eight cores or threads of scheduling in there that's what like the amd scheduler is like in between there of what it can handle right so if you are playing tomb raider a single player game the fps is the exact same because it's only using four threads so the nvidia driver doesn't need to split it up amongst 20 fucking threads right like it does in warzone in warzone you set as many fucking threads as you want do you know what I mean? That's why in that specific game, the NVIDIA cards do better because the game was designed to be using the NVIDIA driver to its optimal capacity. That's why. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, yeah, Zay's no, yeah. So, oh, good point. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's do like so it works in the opposite. So you, my 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 head always just assumes a 10 900 k or a 5950X. Yes. Okay. So Okay. On the other hand, it works the other way as well, right? Do you guys know why that 6600 XT 5600X build was still getting like 200 fps in warzone with six cores because the scheduling is being done over here so 
like if if you're if you're on like a 4790k like a, an old i7 quad core you are much better off getting an amd graphics card for or all games actually all games all of them so if uh, i would say i would say six cores and under like 8700k but if you're at six cores or less probably gonna want to go for an amd gpu for the cleanest and smoothest gaming experience right you're, you're essentially taking some load off of the cpu and putting it on the g let, let the gpu deal with that shit, right if you have 9900k 10900k 5800k maybe eight cores and up you're gonna be better off with an nvidia gpu let because you have the cores to spread that load around right that's what you so that's kind of the general rule of thumb there with how that works that was a good point zays yeah if you have a lower core count cpu yeah then hit up an amd card for sure even in warzone even though warzone doesn't scale with amd cards if you don't have the cores to make it scale you get an amd card right let, let it do the work for you no one's ever explained that properly because in like 99 percent of the situations it doesn't really matter it's just that again warzone is the outlier man like warzone I, you know how they keep saying that game is so poorly optimized i think it's the complete opposite it's the first game that we've ever had that was that well optimized seriously <laughs> literally you, you, everything you throw at it will scale it's crazy dude